So Kevin, in the previous video, we talked about the candidate experience, which is by the time they apply to the job, they didn't get hired, onboarding. And after that, once they become inside the company, they become the employee experience. And sometimes I feel that there is a gap or there is lack of emphasis or lack of a lot of effort once they become inside. And the employee experience kind of goes down. It all depends on the company, their structure. But mm -hmm. I feel that there is a gap between the candidate experience where we're attracting the talent. Mm -hmm. And once we bring them in, we're not nurturing them. We're not helping them to grow. What, what can tips you get in terms of the employee experience once they become insight? Well, it was, it's interesting. I was just on a discussion earlier that we were talking about if, if, an, if an organization of any size and scale and um, regardless of industry, if they have a learning and development culture, mm -hmm. they, meaning that we want everybody to keep developing, we want everybody in our company to you know, do the best that they, the very best to their abilities, but we want them to keep learning too. We want to give you those opportunities to grow because it, at the end that helps to benefit our, our business collectively if they have that culture that is going to be definitely a, an advantage and uh, you know if there is an inclusive belonging culture we talk a lot about that i mean these are a lot of buzz, buzzwords but i think what's important to note is it's the the whole idea around dni diversity and inclusion yeah. it's the inclusive part that's hard for companies and it because it's you know it, it's not just about checking the box that i want these individuals from these underrepresented groups yeah. that I'm going to hire, but if they don't feel like they belong, it's not going to work. Yeah. It's not going to work out. But if I feel like I'm contributing, I have a voice mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I, I work hard, I get my stuff done, but I know that I'm, I'm contributing to the, the sustaining and grow, growth of this company. That's, that's what's really important. So I would argue that, actually helps to Im positively impact employee experience mm -hmm. and improves engagement and, and, and all those things. And if I'm willing to be flexible of how I work and when I work and what we do, and again, it's going to vary depending on what we do, right? If I'm, if I'm on, um, if I'm a technology company that, that sells software, I, that's a different flexible kind of organization that I it could be versus if I'm, building cars mm -hmm. in a plant where I, I there still needs to be people that are you know helping the put these cars together and but that, that, that still doesn't mean though that we can't have a constant learning and development culture inside the organization i think that's what's going to help improve employee experience and i know that i have other opportunities um with you today that's going to help retention too yeah, and I believe that if the company's strategy and mission is learning and development, or it's part of inclusive and diverse background, it should impact or reflect in their day-to-day -day strategy so that there is a match and it's not just buzzword as we talked about, you know, that we are in DNI, but in reality, we're not doing anything. And then it will show from the candidate. Once they are in, they might leave. Yeah, that's exactly right, exactly. Thank you for that insight, Kevin. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Kevin.